Okay, here we are with the Used Companion Magazine, April 28, 1910. Yes, sir, we still have some more stories to bring you from over 100 years ago, and we're going to continue with the current topics. This is current topics of 1910. This is the stuff they wrote about way back then. So here we go, read to you by Jennifer. The census enumerators are now well advanced with their work in the cities, but in the country sections they are allowed two weeks longer. Director Durand hopes to be able to announce the grand total by June 1st and expects that the number will be between 88 and 91 millions. Everybody is the privilege of guessing and most guessings are higher than this semi-official estimate. The girls who take the domestic science course at the Kansas Agricultural College have to make themselves a complete outfit from underclothing to a silk dress before they can take a degree. Most of their grandmothers had to do their own dressmaking without getting a diploma for doing it. But whether taught at home or in school, it is a useful thing for young women to learn and it is fascinating work besides. Nothing daunts the enthusiastic naturalist, and no one else has such sharp eyes on he. A New Yorker who has little time to go to the country to see the wildlife states that even a stay at home can find enough to talk about. Within the city limits, the following animals have been observed. A hermit thrush, a heron, an eagle, a screech owl, a fox, a white-tailed deer, and a mink. This was, it should be added, exclusive of the Central Park Ministry. Some interesting statistics about the mig migratory habits of a portion of the human race have been collected by a great city gas company. It was found, for example, that in the course of 32 months, 130 32 families moved into and out of one tenement building. During the same period of a single apartment shelter, 25 different families. Surely the philosophy of poor Richard must be at fault, for in these cases three removes could not have been as bad as a fire. Pocahontas is the latest candidate for admission to the Hall of Fame connected with the University of New York. A petition signed by several Indians has been presented to the electors and decided the matter, requesting that for the sake of the proper understanding of natural American Indians, this honor be done to the Indian woman. The Chancellor of the University, university thinks she is eligible. The only other woman thus far honored in the Women's Hall are Mary Lyon, Emma Willard and Maria Mitchell, all teachers. Little things make up the great sum of waste and extravagance in a city as in a family. The Commissioner of Streets in New York reports that it costs the city $40,000 a year to gather up the newspapers, banana peel, paper bags, and similar rubbish which people throw out into the streets instead of into the large cans provided for those purposes at frequent intervals. It is a petty act of thoughtlessness in each individual case, but in the aggregate it is a serious matter. Added to the money cost, there is the unsightliness which results from such litter and also the accidents which follow. There you go, some interesting little uh, current topics. And I definitely agree with the sewing that every young lady should learn to sew uh, because everything's getting expensive in the world and stuff. So if you're interested in some sewing and stuff, check one of my other channels out, uh, Doris Ann 13, and you will find some of my sewings there. So in the meantime, go ahead and sub me, join me as a friend, and I'll bring you some more stories. Bye-bye now.